two and two overall to non-conference wins. They're 0 and two in conference against South Carolina and Georgia. Micah Davis got rocked as he crossed the 15-yard line. We have a development that was ruled a fumble on that play and recovered by Kentucky. Jackson Dart looking up to see a replay. He's in disbelief. There's the big hit by Rodriguez. There was no fumble. It'll be first down Ole Miss. Second in the country in completion percentage behind Dylan Gabriel of Oregon right now. And right on cue, on target, first down and more. This is already longer than it took them to score in their last game against Georgia Southern when they scored in two plays in 31 seconds. Here's Trey Harris. After a 12-yard gain, Dart, who's also an adept runner, wide open receiver. There's Harris, delivers a stiff arm, dives for the end zone, and he's down just short. But already you can see some of the defenders, especially Keyshawn Silver, the nose, slow to get back into the play. He was offside as they snap the ball. There is a flag. Parrish has scored a touchdown if it stands. And that's five for five on opening drives for Ole Miss this year. Jackson Dart did such a great job here avoiding the rush. There was an unblocked defender that had run through. He stepped up, avoided it. Find Trey Harris right over the middle of the field <laughs> with a lot of chaos there going on. No one really knew who was going to snap it. And they're the first team in the history of this great conference to put up 600 yards or more of offense in four straight games. And giving that defense much needed rest against the tempo. Vandegrift keeps and carries for the first down. Four receivers, another blitz, and this catch in traffic by Key. And he fights across midfield quickly. Will they snap it? They do. Sumo Karnbe, first down. Another design run for Vandegrift out of the gun, a quarterback run, and a good one. Then ranked number one in the country, whims it back in. Gavin Wimson breaking tackles. He has another first down. Four receivers bunched over there. The one up top. They try for the single coverage. A lot of hand fighting and an incomplete pass. And here's Alex Rayner. He's now made 13 in a row, extending his Kentucky consecutive field goal record. Five receivers spread the field for Dart. And he's going to go down back inside the 25. Octavius Oxendine, the senior from Radcliffe, Kentucky. Jamori Macklin, the motion man, under duress and sack. Vandergriff down. Jared Ivey first there. Both losses to Alabama, including last year's SEC title game that kept George out of the playoff. On first down, Jackson Dart throws to Trey Harris. You and I have some uh, here in <laughs> when it comes to Jackson Dart. <laughs> Henry Parrish carries for the first down, and Dart will come back in just across their own 45. A blitz from Kentucky, and down goes Dart. They have brought consistent pressure, and it's Deion Walker. Van de Griff fights for the first down. Design quarterback run against the four-man rush. Though they take a shot down the field eventually. Van de Griff zings one. Dane Key, first down across midfield for the Cats. Play fake to Wilcox. Down the field, no problem, first and 20. Dane Key, another catch. Demi Sumo Karnbe on the left of Van de Griff. It's an Ole Miss blitz. It's single coverage, and it is incomplete. Antenna for Dane Key, flag down. Pass interference, defense number nine. 15 penalty, and first down. Put it this way, perimeter run lanes. game would not have been a strength. <laughs> Bouncing outside, Sumo Karnbe hoping for a block, and he got it. And he's out of bounds. Ole Miss showing blitz, brings a blitz. He's given time, throws the slam, broken up. There's a flag down in the end zone. Holding defense number nine. Half the distance to the goal, and an automatic first down. It's a lot of contact there, clearly the point of emphasis. I mean, ideally, it ends now for Kentucky with a touchdown, and it will. Dane Key beat Amos in coverage for the Kentucky touchdown. A five-yard touchdown there first in SEC.
SEC play in nearly 10 full quarters this season. And this ball was in the air for a long time, and it's pretty well covered, but Key so strong through the catch. Looked like he definitely had possession. Ball moved a little bit, but it looked like firm control. Sensational here in Oxford. Just 31 years old. Dart trying to pull it down and take off, and he is dropped. And Ole Miss is not going to try to snap it again. Hey everyone, Sports Connect here. I wanted to thank everybody for watching this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and also give your comments on what you think of this shocking upset. Thank you again, and back to the highlights. 15 passing for 86. Forced to step away, and he's taken down from behind. And the guys in there, in his absence, have really stepped up. They do play some zone, a lot of zone, breaking a tackle, Parrish. And he rumbles across the 50-yard line. Not crazy top-end speed, but very elusive. Completed his first six. He's one for six since. Parrish, another first down. Defensive linemen are playing six, seven consecutive snaps. Parrish through a big hole. Might be a tired defense. First down. Goes to 15 before they shut the mic off, and they almost never get under 15 on the play clock. Dark drop by Javon Dumas Johnson. Six out of seven this year in field goals. Good from 31. Now it's just about creating some explosive plays and time to run together. Play action pass, Vandegriff to Dane Key in stride. And he's out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Nice play to start the drive for 21 yards. Fifth different offensive coordinator in five years for Kentucky. Jamarion Wilcox. Tough run. They are hoping Wilcox will become that. Sumo Karnbe back in. Fakes everywhere. That took too long. And Vandergriff is dumped. Jared Ivey, the third sack of the day for Ole Miss. And now it's taking them out of field goal range. Vandergriff gets him back in the field goal range. Key broke a tackle, but could not get away from Trey Washington. And two here at Kentucky. That's a 48-yarder. He's made 14 in a row back to last year. They've held him in check for the most part. There's 82 yards receiving on seven catches. 39 of those were on one play early. Henry Parrish Jr. On first down, dark man open. A defender slip. Trey Harris. Big play. Powerfully put together, 200 pounds. Dart, Harris, immediate contact, and the ball's out. But Harris rolled down. It's Micah Pettis, the right tackle. That ball's sliding yeah. out. That's a fumble. That ball is definitely moving, and I mean, did he secure the catch to him in the contact? The time factor, he was hit immediately. I would not be surprised if they called this an incomplete pass. Rather than a fumble. Even right. now when he's, I don't know, Matt. I mean, he's got the ball in his arm. He's fighting for extra yardage. After video review, the ruling is a catch with a fumble recovered by the defense at the 18-yard line. First down. I think they got that right. Kentucky leading 13-10. to 10. Play action pass. Well protected again. And Vandegrift is on target. And Xavier Restrepo to see that catch for Miami last night. Vandegrift in trouble and swung down. He got four on first down. Jackson Dart after the play fake. Checks it down to Jones. He bounces off a hit and has the first down. And they do snap it. And Kentucky blitzes up the middle. Dart throws a dart on the run. Trey Harris on his way to the end zone. Touchdown Ole Miss. Goes right up and stones the pressure. Great protection, allowing the route, which takes a little bit of time to develop. You have inside leverage against the defender. That's extremely difficult to have an in-breaking route against inside leverage. So it's an outstanding job there by Trey Harris, being patient at the top of the stem, winning underneath, and boom, throwing it in after a great catch and run for the touchdown. And a grab throw. Caught in traffic. Fred Ferry 
Boyer, the transfer from UAB. Vandegrift looks that way. Has to roll away from the rush. Has some green grass and has a first down. Third down and ten. And Vandegrift goes down again in the arms of Sunterran Perkins. In LSU in a couple weeks. Third down and three. They fake the pitch out wide and Dart is stopped short. And now what will that analytics book say? Perkins, number four, he's a big problem on third down. Vandegrift throws incomplete. Maybe this is just the old try to get him offside. No, it isn't. It's an old Miss blitz. It's one-on-one -on -one coverage. It's up for grabs and caught by Barry on Brown. Still on his feet. And all the way to the 17-yard line. John Saunders saved the touchdown. The longest play of the year by far for the Kentucky offense. And how about the route by Barry? Brown said earlier all it takes is one play for Brown to make a huge impact he's been a little quiet today he gets behind the defender Hamilton perfectly times the push off reels it in and the run after catch shows the explosiveness just an unbelievable dice roll on fourth and eight Sumo Karnbe running room outside inside the 10 and down near the five with a first down Wimsett keeps it following Sumo Karn Bay. And the ball comes out into the end zone. And it's recovered for a touchdown by Josh Caddis. Well, for as many struggles as Caddis has had this year, and you saw earlier when he dropped the ball, the look on his face as if he couldn't believe it. Some good fortune here. Right place, right time after Wimsett was stripped of the ball by Trey Washington. And Washington hits that helmet right on the football, and the ball pops up right into the awaiting arms of Josh Caddis. I mean, goodness gracious, the chaos. Kentucky has lost the last six times they've been to Oxford. Haven't won here since 1978. Ole Miss riding a seven-game win streak back to last year. Only Missouri and Army have longer active winning streaks in FBS football. Fifth longest active home winning streak. They're one out of eight on third down, and this is the longest they've faced all day. Dart throws! And is it a catch? Yes! And what a catch by Harris. The defender right in his face. And... Ooh. After video review, the ruling is an incomplete pass. Four-man rush. They don't get close to Dart, but he can't find anybody open. Throws on the run, and it is caught by Caden Priestcorn, the tight end, all the way to the Kentucky 34-yard line. His first today. On second and ten, Dart doesn't want to take a sack and out of field goal range. He gets knocked down back at the 39-yard line by J.J. Weaver. Flag down, Dart runs away from Weaver. Lost the football, but there is the flag in the air. Kentucky has recovered it. Offside, the defensive end is in the neutral zone. Dart, no rush, takes the check down to Parrish. And he's run down at the 31-yard line by Jamon Dumas Johnson. Carter Short, the snapper. They do their job. That kick is no good. A low duck hook. And Kentucky is going to win in Oxford for the first time since 1970.